So the 49ers lost in the Super Bowl. Now, I personally picked the San Francisco 49ers to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I was not super shocked that Patrick Mahomes just overcame that 49ers defense. He went Super Saiyan in the fourth quarter and pretty much pulled off one of the greatest Super Bowl comebacks I've ever seen. You know, Patrick Mahomes, he was big time. That was some all-time stuff in that Super Bowl, okay? So I wasn't totally shocked I was wrong, but man, the 49ers, if you're a 49ers fan, if you're a player on that 49ers roster, just based off that Super Bowl loss, man, that's got to really hurt, man. I feel like losing in the Super Bowl is like being left at the altar at your wedding. You get so close, you know, you do all the right things, you know, you buy in in the offseason, you know, you win a bunch of games, you get through tough opponents, you get a couple of breaks that maybe go your way, and ultimately that Super Bowl trophy, that prized woman, dumps you. The Kansas City Chiefs shut the door on the 49ers and they got to start all over. You know, if you get left at the altar at a wedding, you got to start all over, man. You got to find a new girl to talk to. You got to learn her new favorite color. You got to learn her new her new favorite food. You got to do all that stuff. And the 49ers, they got to start from scratch, man. Now, is their Super Bowl window still open? I believe the San Francisco 49ers Super Bowl window is still pretty wide open, okay? You know, they still got, you know, that great defensive line that great young defensive front, a very good offensive line. They drafted very well. They got great skill position players, speed at linebacker, okay? You know, they're tough up front on both sides of the football. Their coaching staff is still intact. Kyle Shanahan, Robert Sala, that coaching staff is great. So I don't think the 49ers Super Bowl window is closed by any stretch of the matter. They still can win a Super Bowl within the next four to five seasons, okay? However, 49ers fans, I'm going to say slow down just a little bit. Because I think the 49ers, their Super Bowl window is not as wide open as people give it credit for. Okay, I don't think they're. I don't think the 49ers Super Bowl window is as wide open as some 49ers fans think they are. Think it is. Okay, and I do firmly believe that the 49ers have a have a shot to miss the playoffs next year. You know, in the offseason, I picked the 49ers to make the playoffs, and a lot of people gave me a lot of flack for that. Okay, but ultimately, I was right, and this year. You know, I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna officially say the 49ers are going to miss the playoffs. I still have to see the draft. I still have to see the entire free agency period, you know, who signs where and things of that nature. I'm not proclaiming the 49ers are going to miss the playoffs. But I'm going to at least put it on the table because I do believe there is a slight possibility the 49ers could miss the playoffs next year. I don't think their Super Bowl window is as wide open as some people make it out to be. And the and the reason why I say this, there's one reason. Their division. I got to tell you, the NFC West, this division year to year is going to be a, a dogfight, guys. This division is the hardest division in all of football. And guys, you could talk about, we're going to make it back to the Super Bowl next year. And the 49ers very well could. They have the capability to do that. But you have to win your division first. That's the main goal for most teams. Obviously, you can go on a wild card run and get to the playoffs. But the last the last 10 years or so, it's very rare that a wild card team wins a Super Bowl. You look at the Green Bay Packers and the New York Football Giants, outside of those guys, 80 to 70% of the time, they, the Super Bowl winner is going to come from a division winner and a top one to two seed, okay? So the 49ers, it's very imperative. If they want to win a Super Bowl, they need to win this division year to year, okay? And next year, I don't know if they're locked to win their division. I really don't know if they are. Um, because I look at the Seattle Seahawks, a team that last year won over 10 games, a team that was inches away from winning this division last year. If it were not for a questionable no call when it comes to pass interference on the goal line, and if it were not for a delay of game penalty, the Seattle Seahawks very well could have won that week 17 game in Seattle versus the 49ers. And if they win that game, the 49ers drop to a five seed. You mean to tell me the 49ers are getting through the, the NFC gauntlet as the five seed? I do not think so, guys. And listen, the Seattle Seahawks, they were inches away from winning that division last year despite having three running backs at the end of the year injured you know um what's the name Chris Carson CJ Prosize all their good running backs got hurt at the end of the year the Seattle Seahawks are a running football team and they were forced to go out and find Marshawn Lynch and Robert Turbin on the streets and they still want a playoff game despite having those things working against them the Seattle Seahawks they're going to be a force to be reckoned with next year okay they signed Greg Olson in the offseason that's going to really help their tight end depth as Will Disley was they did get hurt this past season okay so they have more tight end depth another weapon for Russell Wilson to 
throw to. And Russell Wilson is a walking 10 wins per season, guys. Russell Wilson has never had a losing season. If the Seattle Seahawks are a healthy team next year, if that defense gels together just a little bit more, if they have a solid draft, do not be shocked if the Seattle Seahawks win 11 or 12 or even 13 games. Russell Wilson is that good. He was second in my MVP voting last year. Unfortunately, no one got an MVP vote last year except Lamar Jackson. Okay, so either way, Seattle, they can win this division next year. I look at the Los Angeles Rams. They're still a very talented team, guys. This is a team that a year ago was in the Super Bowl, okay? They can make the playoffs next year. This is still one of the 10 best rosters in football. You look at Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, some very good players in that defense, okay? All the Rams really need to do is retool the offensive line and maybe add another running back or two to their depth chart to, you know, help out Ty Gurley to share some of the carries. You know, they, they, just, they just need to rejuvenate the offensive line and get the running game going a little bit more and give Jared Goff a little bit more protection and support, and they can be in the playoffs next year. They can win 10 or 11 games next year. Jared Goff a year ago, was an MVP level quarterback. Jared Goff, you know, not this past year, but the year at the year before that, when the Rams went to the Super Bowl, he was a top five quarterback that year. He was very good that year. Jared Goff, when you give him time, when you give him a, de a decent offensive line and a decent running game, he showed you he can go to a Super Bowl. Jared Goff, don't disrespect Jared Goff. I know he had a bad season this year, but Jared Goff is still a very capable quarterback. The Rams have talent, and I would not be shocked if the Rams, you know, win 10 or 11 games next year if they just retool some things in the offseason okay and listen the Rams I don't think that they're gonna get swept by this 49ers team next year. I have a sense that the 49ers will take one game from the Rams next year, and I have a sense that the Rams will take one game from the 49ers next year, okay? I don't think the Rams are getting swept by this 49ers team. And let's also not forget li about little Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, the reigning rookie of the year. Kyler Murray was a dynamic rookie this past season. Kyler Murray, in my eyes, he's a special talent at the quarterback position. The Arizona Cardinals improved so much from a year ago. They went from arguably the worst offensive football, and they made so many strides this past year, guys. Kyler Murray is a stud. Kyler Murray, I see him in the future. If he reaches his full potential, I see a top five quarterback in football. Kyler Murray is that skilled. He throws one of the tightest spirals in football. He's accurate. He makes very good decisions. He's dynamic off schedule. He gave the 49ers fits both times when the 49ers play the Cardinals this year. Go back and watch Cardinals versus 49ers from this past year. Go, go back and watch both those games, and you will see Kyler Murray, you know, exposing the 49ers defense at times. Kyler Murray was able to move the football versus this 49ers team. You mean to tell me that if the Cardinals don't make another addition or two to their team, if they don't have another good, solid draft, they can't surprise the 49ers next year? It's not out of the question that the that the Cardinals can continue to be on the upward trend from a year ago. The Cardinals are one of the young rising teams in the NFL. They got an up and coming wide receiver core. The defense is a little bit better, and I believe they have a special quarterback in Kyler Murray. When you put enough talent around Kyler Murray, I firmly believe he's going to be able to compete to win this division. Kyler Murray, I get a sense that if you put enough talent around him, he can win you a Super Bowl. Kyler Murray is that good of a quarterback. Okay, not to mention. If you're just talking outside division, the 49ers next year, they're going to play the Buffalo Bills, who made the playoffs last year, the Green Bay Packers, who made the playoffs last year, the Philadelphia Eagles, who made the playoffs last year, the New England Patriots, who made the playoffs last year, the New Orleans Saints, who made the playoffs last year, and the Dallas Cowboys, who are looking to improve on their team, who still have one of the 10 best rosters in football, and have a new Super Bowl winning head coach coming in to change things in Mike McCarthy, okay? So... I'm sorry, 49ers fans. You're going to have a tough schedule next year, okay? Seattle, Green Bay, Dallas, Philadelphia, and New Orleans and Tampa Bay all could get better next year. I mean, this NFC is loaded, guys. And ultimately, I still think the jury is slightly out on Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo is a capable quarterback. He went to a Super Bowl this year. However, the Kansas City Chiefs have put out a blueprint to stop and beat this 49ers team. Not many teams are going to be able to, you know, do what the Chiefs did because the Chiefs, they got a special player in Patrick Mahomes. But the blueprint is out there, man. If you make the 49ers throw the football more than they want to with Jimmy Garoppolo, if your quarterback can get into a punch-for-punch -punch matchup with Jimmy Garoppolo, he can probably win. I know Jimmy Garoppolo beat Drew Brees in New Orleans, but man... You mean to tell me some of these other quarterbacks cannot match Jimmy Garoppolo if the if 
the 49ers are forced to throw the football more than they like to. I mean, I look at the Green Bay Packers, the Seattle Seahawks, the Philadelphia Eagles, the New Orleans Saints, and the Rams. They right off the bat have a better quarterback than the 49ers, okay? And I look at Matt Ryan, Matthew Stafford, Jameis Winston, Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott, and Kyler Murray. Are they that much worse than Jimmy Garoppolo? Look, what we know about Jimmy Garoppolo is that he can win you a division. He can get you to a Super Bowl. But can he get you over the hump? Guys, I went back and watched the film of the Super Bowl. And so many times on film, Jimmy Garoppolo missed a wide open George Kittle. He didn't even see him. He was predetermining where he wanted to go with the football. Jimmy Garoppolo has to take the next step. He's going to have to continue to get better. And guys, the fact that Jimmy Garoppolo could not win a Super Bowl this year with this loaded roster that the 49ers have, I think it's a, I think it's a tad bit concerning because Jimmy Garoppolo, how much more help do you need? You got an elite defense. You got a great offensive mind and head coach. You got a great offensive line. You got great running backs. You got great skill position players on the outside to throw to. Jimmy Garoppolo, how much more help do you need? The 49ers are going to go as far as Jimmy Garoppolo takes them. They already have a loaded roster. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to have to get better. And, and I think he has a chance to do so. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo, this was his first ever full NFL season as a starter in which he played all 16 games. So he has that under his belt. He has the failure in his mind. He's going to, you know, probably go to sleep every night and think about that missed pass to Emmanuel Sanders that would have potentially won the Super Bowl. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to think about that probably every single day until he wins another Super Bowl potentially. So Jimmy Garoppolo... I think he's a good quarterback, but I don't know if he's special enough to carry the 49ers over the top. I think he can win a Super Bowl for them, but I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. Jimmy Garoppolo, he's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not, you know, Russell Wilson. He's not even Kyler Murray. He's not a very talented quarterback. He's a good quarterback, but I don't look at Jimmy Garoppolo, and I don't see a physically gifted quarterback. I see a quarterback that's accurate, that can be on time, that can win with, you know, touch and anticipation, but I just don't get the sense that Jimmy Garoppolo will ever dominate the game of football. So if Jimmy Garoppolo can be a legit MVP candidate going forward, I think this 49ers team is scary and going to be unstoppable. However, they will only go as far as Jimmy Garoppolo takes them. And I do firmly believe the 49ers Super Bowl window is open, but the 49ers could miss the playoffs next year. And do not be shocked if they do not win a Super Bowl in the Jimmy Garoppolo and Kyle Shannon era, because that Super Bowl window it's open for now, but I don't know how long it's going to be open because Super Bowl windows close very, very quickly. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. It's been your boy, Jemai McKinney, or you can just call me Juice. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Steve A. Smith, Shan Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out, just help me grow as a broadcaster, help me learn, you know, get other people hit to this channel, you know, just share this channel with all your friends, share this channel on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, all that good stuff, also, be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms, and once again, guys, just share this channel with everyone you know, get everyone hipped and watching these videos, get my voice out there and heard, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, all that good stuff, it's been your boy, Jemai McKinney, or you can just call me Juice, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in today, I really do, have a God-blessed day, stay motivated, you guys, and I'm out.